What did this get away from you guys from the beginning? I mean, it's a hard fought game. We got some open looks that we just didn't knock down. Um, we had some guys that struggled from the field. Um, it's just unfortunate. You know, we competed for the most of, most of the game, and again, it's a make or miss league, and you got to make open looks when you get them. And you know, that's just the way the, the ball bounces sometimes. So, our biggest thing is just to get back, fill our cups back up. Uh, and then, and then go defend our home court just as they did tonight. Darvin, you made that run to get within one uh, in the third quarter, and it looked like you're maybe trying to get AD a quick rest. Uh, not just those minutes, but in general, without AD, what do you guys have to do better? And, and is there any I mean, thought we, about we had, we had some untimely uh, possessions where we didn't finish with a rebound, and you know they were able to get one, maybe two offensive rebounds in that stretch. And a team like that. They thrive off those hustle plays, getting those 50-50 balls. They got enough scoring output where, you know, you give them second and third chances at it, you know, they're going to make you pay. So I just thought some of those unfortunate defensive possessions where we couldn't finish with a rebound hurt us. Um, but, you know, overall, our guys came out tonight to compete. And again, we just didn't make enough shots and some untimely, untimely turnovers and some untimely uh, lack of defensive rebounding. You didn't give Wendy in a few more minutes tonight. Are you just looking to try to match a little bit of their size with some of those second units more? Absolutely. And then, you know, when you throw him out there, whether even if it's in short spurts, he's always one that brings uh, great energy to the game as he did tonight when we throw him out there. So we'll go back to the drawing board, look at the film and see what we come up with. And uh, again, the biggest part is to be, be ready to come out on Friday like gangbusters and compete for 48 minutes or however long it takes. Darvin, a couple questions. Um, with about nine and a half minutes left in the fourth, you, you guys were in a timeout down 24. What was the kind of the balance between let's try to, to close this gap versus trying to maybe use that time to, to buy LeBron some rest, to buy AD some rest? It's tough, man, because when you're competitive, it's like you, you, you feel like, you know, in today's basketball, the three-point shot, you know, it, it, it can be the great equalizer. You can chew up a deficit really, really quickly. Um, you know, we gave up, a, I think it was a 14-1 to run to them in the, the first half last game in game four. So it just shows you, you know, and that was in the span of maybe a couple of minutes, maybe two, three minutes. But, you know, it's, it's, it's the great conundrum. You know, do you compete harder and hopefully see some shots go in, get to the free throw line, you know, get the scoreboard moving? Or do you take that time, like as you just said, and, and um, try to soak up some minutes with those guys getting ice on the sideline or whatever, but it's playoff basketball, man. Everybody's in a competitive mode, and uh, we decided to leave our guys out there. LeBron um, has been pretty open about talking about his fatigue levels and stuff like that. Um, one for nine from three tonight. He was the first of the regulars to come out. Why, why did you choose that time with with him? Just, and just to start, you know, I, I, he and I made eye contact, and we, we had a nonverbal discussion, and it was it was time. You know, we got we we're gonna need him big on, on on Friday, so it was time. Simple as that. And let let me say, um, defensively, their back their backcourt, I think, is I'm looking at it, 64 points for Bain and Morant. Um, you guys did adjust a little bit on on, on Bain in the second half, started to double him more, but was that just great players having a great game, or, or is there more you think you guys can do against them? Totally. I mean, again, we'll go back and look at it. Um, their crowds behind them. Um, it's just one of those things, you know, he had 21 in the first half, 11 in the second, you know, and Ja got a little away from us a little bit, 13, you know, 18. We both slowed down their scoring output, but, uh, you know, Jaron Jackson wakes up. So it's one of those things, man, you're dealing with a good team. This is what playoff basketball is all about. So, again, we'll go back, look at the film, and then uh, come up with the best possible plan for Friday. Darvin, uh, to, to follow up on LeBron, w with the exception of game two, he hasn't really had one of his typical scoring outbursts. Um, have you noticed anything different with, with him offensively, or, or where do you feel like he's at? Like, has that fatigue kind of trickled in to, to his offensive game, you feel like, or is it just the way they're defending him? Or I mean, they just play a physical defensive game, and, you know, they're, they're switching off on him. You know, it's Brooks on him, it's Tillman, it's Jackson. You know, and those guys are all capable very high capable defenders and all play a physical defensive style individually and their team 
they show you bodies, you know, and, and their key thing is to take away the paint. So, you know, we just got to figure out ways. How to, the same thing we did with AD, just figure out a way to move them around. And we got plenty of stuff in the, our package to be able to give him different areas to be in attack mode from. But, you know, Brian is one of the greatest to ever do it. And so we'll definitely put our heads together and figure, figure out the best plan of action. Darwin, why do you think it is through these first five games that when either LeBron has a good offensive night, AD seemingly doesn't have as strong as a one, or, or vice versa, when AD does, LeBron doesn't? Why, why do you think they haven't got on the same page? I mean, it's just the way the things have been going right now. Um, and, you know, it's our job to make sure that we, we give them the opportunity to both be on, you know, on, on, on point at the same time simultaneously. And you see those guys have, like, as you mentioned, different nights is one of their nights. And the next day, whoever had the big night, the defense is more geared toward them. And sometimes it goes like that. So, But again, we're, we're, we're a resilient ball club. We've been through a lot this season. And um, nothing has changed in terms of how we go about trying to figure out a way to respond the right way. And uh, we'll do that going into this next game. Darvin, I know you'll sit with your coaches, but uh, presuming you don't want to come back here, would game six be a way to extend minutes, you know, almost treat it like a, a, not a game seven specifically, but would, is that something that's uh, in play for Friday? Absolutely. We're going to do what we need to do to try to get that game at home. So all, all resources will be on deck. Darvin, with it being a game six, is there more pressure on the Lakers? to get it done so you don't come back here? Or is it more all in Memphis because they have to win? To we weren't, we were, we were told we weren't going to be here in the first place. So it's no pressure, it's just basketball. Thanks, guys.